Welcome back to the channel. If you happen to be new here, my name's Dave, and uh, I do a lot of LEGO investments. However, this video is about these bad puppies back here. If you missed my video two weeks ago, I am opening the 6.9 year Alpha Investments Anniversary Kits, celebrating his YouTube channel and his career in cardboard investments. And we are going to be opening the second of our four packs that we have, uh, which is this one right up here. So this one you can definitely see pretty heavily uh, warped. Definitely some like water damage or something on the packaging. So uh, fingers crossed that means this thing's got some really amazing stuff inside. We're going to crack that open right now and uh, get right into it. Last time we ended up capable of turning a profit. I'll be curious to see if we can keep that trend up and if we have any hits. So uh, let me know in the comments below right now if you've opened any of these, how you did, what the coolest thing you think could be won from them, as well as if you think I pull any heat. Let's get into this. Okay, we're going to do a different angle this one than we did the last one. And so hopefully you can see stuff a little bit better. We are going to cut. I don't like pulling the seals. We are going to cut the seals. Whoop. Little cut there. Little cut there. And it opens. Woo! No big surprise in what is in the first layer. For those of you, if you missed the video, you're going to get a brief overview. Here we've got the first layer. However, just like we did last week, we're going to set that to the back and we're going to do that last. Ooh, you can see we got some rough stuff going on. Damage pack. So we've got our three different series things here. We've got MetaZoo, Flesh and Blood, and a Magic the Gathering, something or other. Some of you may already know what this is. It is Double Masters, which I think is actually a pretty good Magic the Gathering uh, pack from what I recall. I don't know whether there's value. I promise you, though, this is not going to contain the same amount of value as the Sue Ellen Brown card that we had from the last one. So uh, my bet is that we're probably not going to be getting much, but we'll see what the bottom layer holds. Let's see what we have over on the left. This should be, and it is, our Rudy's nice metal card. One per spell book. The original owner of this page helped celebrate the 6.9 year anniversary of Alpha Investments. Benefits include not being a Timmy. Uh, one might argue that uh, we were throwing money at them, so maybe we are Timmy's. Who knows? Look at you, all grown up. Time flies when you're making smart financial decisions and not simply being a carrot out in the yard. Thanks for all the fun. So, very cool card. Uh, anyways, we got that. And lastly, Flesh and Blood. Looks like we've got a single card. Last time it was a blank equipment card. This time... It is another blank equipment card. So uh, this thing held a little bit of value. 50 to to $100, if I recall. 50 to 70 something like that. The metal card, 50 to to 100 Not too bad. Uh, this one, not going to be nearly what the other one is. Um, we will look this up afterwards and share that information with you. Let's move on to layer number three now. And here we go. We got uh, only two things. So this is likely going to be a past Rudy. Oh, we got Rudy Claus. So I think, if I recall right, Rudy Claus is a promo card that he did not end up releasing. And so the only way that you can get this one is a small portion, I think like 600 or so, of the Rudy 6.9 Alpha Investment sets. So this one might contain a little extra value for those Rudy card collectors out there. And it looks like, I'm going to guess this is a box topper. So what do we got here? An Ico Collector Booster Ancillary Pack. Not for resale. Again, as I stated, if I end up opening any and or all the packs, they will be done in a completely separate video. So for now, we're just going to rebury these things. We've got our Ico Collector Booster. I've seen a couple of those opened. I don't think there's crazy value. The Rudy car might card might have some decent value. Uh, Double Masters, eh, not so much. Uh, these ones here, we already established the value. But there could be some big hits up here still. So let's start things off with... You know what? We're not going to do the Greed Monster. Last time we did the Greed Monster, we got to change it up. We're going to start it off with the Investment Visor this time. 
And here we go. We have number 367 out of 3,000. So no hits there. I'm getting a lot of stuff in the 60s. Unfortunately, they're not the 69s, which means no redemption value. But we're going through them anyways. And worst case is uh, I'll probably keep at least one pin set for myself. Uh, the other ones I may end up having to get rid of. 1445 out of 3,000. Nothing on the floppy taco. And I can't get these things back in the hole. That's what she said. Here we go. All right. Greed Monster. 1396. I don't know. Is that a bigger tease than 67? We'll see. Nothing yet. Uh, we'll go Alpha Investment logo next. This one's my favorite. I think it's because it doesn't have the colored design. It looks more of like a flat color. A flat material. There we go. Oof, man, these are tough to get out. Okay, here we go. And 1673 out of 3,000. No fire. Dumpster fire is fire, but is it going to really be fire? 1790 out of 3,000. No go there. Here we go. Last one for box number two. And then we'll sum it up with the value and recap. We have 1739. No fire. No hits. No redemptions. Uh, this box, way weaker than the last one. The Rudy cards, really the only, or the Rudy Claws specifically, the only thing that's hot fire in this one. Uh, the other stuff, definitely a little weak. So let me see what I can do on the value, and let's wrap this video up. Okay, folks, so we got the value. Again, pins, $50 to $100 for the pin set. We've got the dice, $30 to $40 for the pair. We have the uh, Rudy 6.9 year anniversary card. This one is $50 to $100. The equipment blank, I had to already have that because we got the second one of these. This one is uh, $50 to $70. The Double Masters Pack, not horrible, I suppose, around $30. Not a whole lot of variance in price on that one. Uh, if I go down to the bottom level, we've got the Ico. This one was a new one for this pack. Uh, this is a $10 to $20 value, so definitely nothing big there. I didn't think it was. I was pretty surprised... The Rudy Claws helped save the day on this one a little bit. Three to four hundred dollars. Uh, lots sold. Uh, a few of them sold at three, and then some at three seventy-five and four and four hundred one. I think were some of the ones that I saw. Again, very limited on how you can get that one. So overall, our box price range five twenty to seven sixty, which means this one's probably right on par with what I paid for it. The question's going to be. If I sit on it, will it go up in value or is it going to go down in value? That's going to be the big question. Let me know in the comments below what you think if I should hang on to this as a investment type thing or whether I should just go ahead and offload it right now while the value is higher. If that's what you think, let me know. And um, yeah, we've got two more of these to do. I need to check the time to see if I'm going to do another video, but you won't see it for at least two more weeks because I'm splitting these things up. Uh, that is tempting with these boxes sitting over here, though. We got two more so far. I, I'm pretty happy. The first one I was happier with, don't get me wrong, I do like that I have a Rudy Claus, but I like that Sue Ellen Brown Magic the Gathering card just slightly more. I think it's a more unique item uh, to be able to come to the market. And it's something that hopefully will never be done again. I guess we'll see. So uh, let me know that stuff. Don't forget, check out my other social media. Uh, you can find all of it at scottstoys.com. Again, that is scotts with one T, uh, toys.com. And uh, you can find out my BrickLink stuff, my Instagram, such. Yeah, lots of fun stuff. So don't hesitate to go and check all that stuff out. I'm stuttering for words now. I really want to get into these boxes. So we'll see if I got time. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I will see you all in the next video, which will be Lego Investment again. I did it last week. You saw something. I don't know what it is because I didn't record it yet. Uh, next week, I'm going to do something. It will be Lego Investment oriented. I promise. <laughs> Bye, everybody.